I want to make sure we talk about Sarah Cooper. Everything's fine, of course. I'm so glad that that uh, you are behind this project uh, directing. This is very exciting because she's obviously this phenomenal talent. She blew up online. I think people are very excited now that she's got this uh, this project, and it's so cool that you're you're directing it. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, I have this uh, this great production company called Animal Pictures. Uh, with uh, with Maya Rudolph, uh, I think we sort of felt like, what's the thing to launch this thing? And all of a sudden, you know, when Sarah hit, uh, she just felt like the only thing that was really resonating or, or connecting with this moment, as far as a, a feeling of relief that encapsulated the sort of uh, you know universal feeling of what the hell is going on here, that she was sort of providing some sense of relief. And I think the uh, goal of the special, you know, we never really um, say Trump's name in it. I think more so than sort of trying to to comment on something obvious was uh, trying to get to the heart of, you know, this kind of uh, social paranoia and the sort of doom scrolling, sinking feeling that we all have kind of in bed as you're slowly melting into it, wondering where this all ends and, you know, trying to, you know, tap into that through this kind of network, Patty Chayefsky sort of as a gag, um, you know, um, Fred holds up a sign as her producer that's uh, the actual sign from Ilya Kazan's face in the crowd, you know, to show that the ratings are up, thanks to talking about, uh, you know, uh, sort of shitty politics. And, and I, I just really think we wanted to kind of tap into the sort of the, the way that we all feel and sort of uh, Sarah has done an extraordinary job of providing some relief and some sort of explanation to this uh, absurdity. I mean, it is so effing weird that we are, you know, that this has become some uh, degree of normal somehow. Yeah. No, I, what I really appreciate, appreciate about what she's done is I love silly comedy and she's able to be very physical and silly and use her abilities to make you laugh and at the same time acknowledge how insane everything is right now. Yeah, I mean, it's, very, very weird, you know, and it's a it's a real curiosity of, you know, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I joke, but it's, a, you know, uh, what is what is jokes? What is time? What is a future? What is making plans? You know, it's uh, it's a very weird moment that we're in. And it's uh, it's uh, very um, really like levels the playing ground, like we're we're in this collectively and sort of have to either. Uh, so anyway, you know, uh, jokes aside, I mean, I guess that really is when I say I'm relieved, I, I'm just relieved to see that we're, you know, we've sort of stopped uh, lying other than of course the fake news aspect, we've sort of stopped lying a little bit as a society, which, you know, hopefully gets to uh, the heart of the truth and maybe we can, you know, begin to build a better world and so on, which is great because I have so many children and I need to build a future for them. Well, you know what I love? Whenever you're using your hands in Zoom, I feel better about our future. So the more- it's The kids, Conan, the kids. I'm not even listening to what you're saying anymore. I'm just seeing this and I feel liberated and excited because- <laughs> you, want, you want a flat screen TV? I'm gonna get you a flat screen TV. Just let me know what kind of a camcorder you need and I'll get it for you. And you're saying that I, no one can beat your prices. That's, I'm very excited about that. Thank you so uh, much. We have a clip here from Sarah Cooper, Everything's Fine. Anything we need to know about this clip before we show it? Uh, the duality, the gravitas and the comedy that comes with the one and only, the living legend that is Helen Mirren. And now for our top story, an exclusive look inside that now famous Access Hollywood bus. She used to be great. She's still very beautiful. I moved on her actually. You know, she was down in Palm Beach. I moved on her and I failed. I'll admit it. Whoa. I did try and her. She was married. <laughs> huge news, Sarah. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was marriages. And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. Just, she wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. But I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot as shit in the purple. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Oh, yes, the Donald is good. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my man. And we're back. Huh? That was a great clip. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, um, I think Sarah really wanted to uh, uh, do this one, um, you know, because it's the one. And somehow, you know, I, it's, it's crazy that it was so insane when we first heard it. And, uh, 
that it was not the thing that shut it all down um, and we're still here. Uh, you know, I mean, just as, uh, as a woman, it's uh, pretty devastating to uh, realize that these are the things that we're uh, okay with accepting. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I do think people say uh, laughter is the best medicine. I, like many people, disagree. I think yeah. medicine, medicine's the best medicine. Um, well, every viewing of this special also comes with a, a bottle of amoxicillin. So you can <laughs> get it on both sides. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Cooper, Everything's Fine, is now streaming globally on Netflix. Natasha, you are very talented. You are very you. busy. You're always a delight to talk to. It's not often I get to speak literally to uh, a woman who's time traveled from 1935 with all that moxie and pep. And uh, you always brighten my day. So thank you for doing this. Always a joy, Conan. Thank you so much.